What's up guys, welcome back to another Fallout Let's Play. This is Lord Mushroom here, the richest man in the wasteland. And we're gonna continue And we're gonna continue where we left off last time. We are in um an NCR outpost of Fort Charlie. Now we are heading to Novak. And um I am thinking about something. Like because you know I can sneak around and always get around quests but we're gonna do it the right way since I'm always here and like I said we're not gonna leave the town until we have all the quests finished so we're gonna make our way to Novak and uh dude this is pretty sentiment actually and uh, why am I running slow Travel here, the big dinosaur. Anyways, I have decided on something. I've been thinking about this for a while now. And, um, I was thinking about a great time to start one of the DLCs. Like, a very good time to start. And the only one that I could actually start now, if I wanted to, is the uh, Honest Hearts DLC. And with the Honest Hearts DLC, I could literally do anything I want, so to speak. So, with that being said, we are going to... Is that Victor? That's Victor. What is he doing here? first time I actually seen him here okay well because usually when I'm here I don't really pay attention I get my job done and uh, let's let's start here this is first building and I just I have literally no one well welcome to you you look tired from the road why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. We haven't met you. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. What is this place? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Yeah, right. Well, there's Dinky, the, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Anything plus. Anything well, else. Well, up north the ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, Ooh, the slavers snipers. have left us alone. As I recall, you're a slaver yourself. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers! <laughs> what, she what do you think you're doing? Shooting you in the face. I'm just joking. She's nice. I, I, she's nice. She's very nice. Until you figure out her true story, which is I'm still detected. Hold on. How did you see me? Did this on the first time, yeah. Oh, dang it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. The bill of sale. 
So, she's a slaver. I don't like her. So, what we're going to do is... Yeah, see right here. Jenny McCrawford said that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave. I trusted you. <laughs> I trusted you. You're gonna die. But I'm not gonna kill you. Somebody else. Whatever. What's anything good here? Alright, let's go talk to the. Uh, Dino, Dino, Snano, Bino, Albino, Tiger. Alright. There it is. Oh, no, wrong one. What's, uh, what's, uh, what's going on here? What? I already have it. Why do I need another one? But let's yeah. What's uh, what's going on here? But uh, this, this is getting scary, dude. This is scary. Like, look at this. What are you doing? What? I don't get it. I'm scared. I'm officially scared for my life now. Like, I I, I don't even know what to do. I'm never going back in this house. Hey, welcome. Hey, you. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. What do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. You're with the NCR, right? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. I would feel better if I checked your NCR. Oh. <laughs> would you feel better if I checked the NCR on your... The first one? Uh, no. No. They're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Tell me about the Rangers. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. What'd you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet, and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel, just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. If your body, your body is injured, not your mind, you're kidding yourself if you think you're useless. Huh. <laughs> People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, 
There's a move we have in the ranges for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. You've learned the ranger takedown special moves. To use this technique, initiate a power attack while moving backwards. You drop your opponent to the ground. Which I'm going to use it on my next... I don't know. <laughs> I need to go talk to Eddie though. I like Eddie. Eddie's a great companion. I would never have any other companion except for Eddie. I've got you now. What's uh what's What's uh, happening here? What's uh going on here? Why do I keep missing? Oh my gosh, I suck! Oh my gosh, every hit, every shot, every shot, every shot. There we go. Jeez, I suck. That's weird. Oh, I just not noticed. I'm sorry guys. Hold on, God mode is enabled. I was doing something earlier. I'm sorry. There we go. We're gonna steal from this guy because I don't feel Come on. There we go. Alright. So let's talk to this dude. What's going on, man? Who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot it's me. Otherwise, it's boom. Do you protect your own... <laughs> do you, what do you protect from your town? You name it. Your Anything that front. comes within a thousand yards that looks Ooh, like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Who's Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Why are you on bad terms with Boone? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. What did you and Boone's wife argue about? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas, me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. So, you were in a gang. Who were they? Were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. What was your tour like with the NCR? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe, what's not to like. So why'd you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. What, did ha what happened at Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. He didn't give me the quest because I stole the holotape. Welcome. Come on in. 
It's, uh, hold on, let me clean up this trash. I meant, it's not Cardi B, but this trash right here. There we go, you look better right there. It's good. You. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. What'd you sell here? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. What about supplies and guns? Do you sell those? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Well, I've seen your house. Kinda, kinda creepy. Come back soon. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Let me see what you have for sale. Sure thing. Have a look. Alright, let's see if we get any good weapons this time. Incinerator? Nah. Okay. Charge. Powder charge? That gun. I got a special for that. Damage now. Uh, tell me more about your souvenir rockets. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. How'd they end up here? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. You definitely do, buddy. There we go. Alright, let's do this. There we go. I'm stuck. There we go. Take all these rockets. And uh, there it is. We're done. Says this umbrella. Dino. Hey, you came back. Must be doing something right. We'll do something about that dead body. Alright, so I'm gonna come back tonight and finish the boom quest because that's a quest that I won't be able to do. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get Eddie. We're gonna revive my old friend. The contest site. Where, where am I? Okay, there. There we go. <sighs> Legion. I can't wait. I'm gonna get kicked out of the casino. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you why I'm called the richest man in the wasteland. I'm excited to get to that, but we ha we're gonna have to wait. Take our time. Make sure we do everything correctly. Hey there. So, we are going to do this right. Alright, here we go. Uh, Eddie! Repair. Repair with parts. Sushi Grandma, I do! I do have this stuff. Let me try. module and plant now. No, I need that back. So we got scrap electronics. Or, ah, we got one century module. Okay, that back. Howdy. Hey there, youngster. 
You're so white. Oh my gosh. Do you have anything for sale? Let's see if we can find a century module. Uh. No! All this. You're so white. You're. You're haunting me with your whiteness. Not to be racist, but jeez, I'm leaving. Oh my gosh. Alright. Well, I guess we're gonna have to head to. Uh, it went that way. We gotta go to. Uh, can't find it. There we go. We're heading here. to border boulder boulder city boulder town town boulder all right uh, let's go helios one oh yeah we can get a central module from this lady Um, Jeez. Oh yeah, Gibson Scrapyard, that's what it is. I cannot remember it. Hi there, I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Um, what do you know about Helios 1? The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Alright, uh, why did they call you Old Lady Gibson? Well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. I hope you can figure out the rest. I don't mind, to be honest. Living long is a real accomplishment these days. Remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. Show me what you have for sale. Happy to do it. Let's see if he has this freaking sensory model. Scrap, no scrap. Yes! Yes! We can get Eddie. I got my. Another side of. Take care. Commander to death in full view of everyone. The Legate then ordered a tenth of his own force be killed by the other nine tenths. Yeah. And you thought your boss was a pain. That's all for now. This is Mr. New Vegas. Uh -huh. Can I open it? No. Alright. We're gonna have to come back then. Goes out from me and uh, we're gonna go to Helios 1. Anyways, we're going to stop this video right here. Thank you guys for watching and enjoying, even though it gets boring sometimes and you just listen to me ramble. Please like, comment, and subscribe to help me for future videos. And uh, I guess that's it. See you next time. Bye.